2018 Jaguar I-Pace, production car set for Frankfurt debut. The Jaguar I-Pace electric SUV concept made its European debut at Geneva but the production car will star at Frankfurt in September 2017. A production version of the Jaguar I-Pace will be revealed this year and make its global debut at the Frankfurt Motor Show in September. The I-Pace concept was a thinly veiled glimpse as to what we can expect from Jag's first EV and design chief Ian Callum has previously said that the concept is around 80 per center production ready Indiana terms of styling. Based on a completely new electrical architecture, the I-Pace also presented Jag's design team with a blank canvas thanks to the absence of an engine and gearbox. Like the bodywork, the basic power and performance figures should also remain largely unchanged and Jaguar has hinted that it'll cost around 10 to 15 percent more than an equivalent version of its F-Pace SUV, so expect a starting price around the £55,000 mark. Jaguar is taking details from interested customers right now, ahead of the production model arriving. Jaguar I-Pace Concept Geneva Debut the headline-grabbing all-electric Jaguar I-Pace SUV concept has made its European debut at the Geneva Motor Show, sporting a colorful new red paint job. Jaguar has also treated us to our first look at its upcoming EV in production form, releasing an image of a camouflaged I-Pace wearing the same bodywork it'll get when it arrives in showrooms. As expected, it'll stay fairly true to the I-Pace concept in terms of how it looks on the outside. The concept wowed the crowds on its first unveiling at the Los Angeles Motor Show at the start of the year, but the Swiss event is the first time it's been seen on this side of the Atlantic. Jaguar is showing the car ahead of its production model debut towards the end of the year, and it will eventually on sale in the UK in 2018. Like the bodywork, the basic power and performance figures should also remain largely unchanged and Jaguar has hinted that it'll cost around 10 to 15 percent more than an equivalent version of its F-Pace SUV, so expect a starting price around the £55,000 mark. Jaguar is taking details from interested customers right now, before the production model has surfaced fully. Jaguar I-Pace Performance, 395 bhp and 300 mile range. Jaguar claims that the I-Pace will have at least 300 miles of range on a single charge and it'll be able to dash from 0 to 62 miles per hour in around 4 seconds. A 90kWh lithium-ion battery sits between the axles, driving two rare earth magnetic electric motors for a total power output of 395 bhp and 700 Nm of torque. The I-Pace features an all-new aluminium platform, and the compact size of the electric motors each one has an outer diameter of 234 mm and a length of 500 mm allow plenty of space in the cabin. Much of the car's hardware is derived from the F-Pace SUV, including the double wishbone front suspension and the compact integral link rear suspension. The lithium-ion batteries have been developed in-house and use pouch cells for their energy density and efficiency. They'll give 80 percenter charge Indiana 90 minutes and 100 percenter in just over 2 hours from a 50 kilowatts DC charging point, and they sit low in the car to give the car a center of gravity that's 120 millimeters lower than the F-Pace. Weight is an issue the I-Pace is expected to weigh around 2,100 kilograms but straight line performance won't be, and Jaguar promises that the car will handle as a Jaguar should. So although the car is marginally smaller than the F-Pace, around 50 mm shorter, 90 mm lower and 40 mm narrower, its wheelbase is 115 mm longer meaning there's more room inside. In fact, Jaguar says it's got 10 mm more near room than a BMW 7 Series. The 530-liter boot is 120 liters smaller than the F-Pace, while there's an additional 28 liters of space under the bonnet. However, clever use of the interior's flat floor means there's also space for 8 liters of storage between the front seats. Jaguar I-Pace, Design The new car's architecture, doing without the need to put an internal combustion engine at the front with all the associated bits, means Jaguar's design director Ian Callum and his team have been able to produce a stunning and innovative design with hints of 2010 SCX75 concept. 
Designers have been looking forward to electric cars for a long time, Ian Callum told us. They give you permission to do things that you can't do when you have an internal combustion engine. We started off with a skateboard-like platform that enabled us to bring the cab forward in spite of it being an SUV. The wheelbase was decided by the number and size of the batteries that we needed to fit in between the axles. The cab forward design has enabled Callum to give the I-Pace strong haunches at the front of the car like the CX-75, with a distinct dip in the bonnet line. There's also a bonnet scoop towards the back to reduce drag. In spite of the low front and short overhang, there's a bold front grille framed by slim lights like on the F-Pace. It's important we establish the front as a Jaguar, says Callum. The headlights of today's style have double J blades that's something we'll see more and more on Jaguars. Sweeping lines along the side and tapering waistline give the five-door SUV a coupe-like profile, leading to a sharply angled rear screen coated with a hydrophobic coating so there's no need for a rear wiper. Rear vents sit where tailpipes would usually be, but channel air from the rear wheel arches to reduce drag. Lead tail lights follow the design theme established on the F-Type sports car, XE, and XF models, but are squared off for a more technical look. We're relatively high at the back with quite square edges for optimum aerodynamics, said Callum. And sure enough, the I-Pace has an impressively low drag coefficient for an SUV of 0.29. Jaguar I-Pace Technology and Interior In spite of the temptations created by the electrical architecture, Callum says that you still have to have familiar hardware inside the car. But around the traditional driving position are three screens, a 12-inch HD screen to display instruments, another 12-inch touch screen on the floating center console and a smaller 5.5-inch touch screen below. There are even tiny screens in the rotary controllers that sit further down that center control module. There are plenty of delightful design details inside the I-Pace, with Jaguar's bespoke lozenge pattern on everything from the leather seats to the speaker grills, while laser etched into the burr walnut dash are the words lovingly crafted by Jaguar. EST Coventry 1935 There's also a British sense of humor to the Jaguar paw prints stitched into the seats, and the glove outline on the base of the glove box. With Jaguar's I-Type racing car contesting this season's Formula E championship, the brand's electric future is becoming clearer especially with the promise of more hybrid and electric vehicles to follow the I-Pace to market in the coming years.